video is sponsored by Skillshare. This wood is so, so ugly and it's full of marks. If you follow me for a while, you know this was a wardrobe. So I already took the inches out because I still haven't done that. And you can already see like the room, it's so much darker than it was. It's so weird. So I'm going to paint this white and the plan is to also paint this door white, but I'm not sure how it's going to look. So yeah, I also wanted to paint those those in colors but we'll see about that after painting this white because it might look okay because i like wood with la with with white so we'll see about that Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another week here in the studio This feels weird to say because I just finished editing and filming the other studio vlog So <laughs> as you probably saw from the beginning of this video I am doing a little makeover here in the studio So I wanted to start filming this week so next week I can work on shop stuff and Patreon stuff like most of the week. You already saw that I'm going to take care of that part of the room. Um, if you remember a couple of months ago I got tired of that part of the studio because it's super super dark. If you don't know about this, this is my parents house and um, this is my old room and my parents let me take over basically this part of the house uh, when I moved out to make it my studio and my workspace and I've been trying to make it more like an office feel um, and do some changes so I don't feel like in my old room um, and this house has more than 40 years so some of the things are a little not outdated but different from what I want and that part of the studio was super super dark because I had one of this um, wardrobes like inside the wall and the wood is super super ugly and super dark so it makes the room really really dark so a couple of months ago I made like a DIY uh, thing very cheap with paper that I had laying around like with pastel colors and stuff like that and I basically laid it out um, on the wardrobe and it looks super super nice but that was a couple of months ago and since then the paper was 
always falling out and coming out of place so I thought it was time to make a more definite um, solution I think so yesterday I went and bought the paints as you also saw from previous footage yeah I bought some white paints so I can paint the wardrobe and I also bought some color paints and yeah that's what we are going to do on this video I'm so so excited and yeah let's get going and let me show you what's the state of things right now so everything looks like a mess but this is what i have so far yesterday i did some wood fillings as you can see they look super super red it was the first time i did something like this i think i still need to add a little bit more so they are like on the same like level because they don't look so good i did three of those where the hinges of the wardrobe were and then i already tried with this drawer over here it only has like the first coat um so what i'm going to do all over the wardrobe is i'm going to set it down send it down then i'm going to pass it with acetone so I can take the leftovers of the um, varnishing and everything that I have here on the wardrobe and then I'm going to paint it white and the thing is that I don't know, don't know if it will look nice is because the walls are not exactly white because you know the house it's already 40 years so it's a little bit yellowish but um soon i would like to paint the walls as well because they are really really damaged and dirty and full of marks of time basically so yeah i'm going to paint it white and i have a lot of work to do especially with sanding and all the kind of things so yeah i have my white paint over here acetone i bought some paint supplies things this is the first time i'm doing something like this all by myself so yeah i'm still learning and then i bought these three colors over here that i want to paint some shelves i wanted to paint these three shelves over here but we'll see depending on how the wardrobe will look in the end if i want to paint them or not because they have a lot of varnish so they'll be a little bit difficult to paint then i would like to paint that one as well basically what i'm trying to do is to make the studio look a little bit more cohesive because all the furniture was like given to me I didn't bought almost any of the furniture I only bought this thing over here everything else was just something that no one wanted so I kind of keep it um, so everything is all over the place and I want it to look a little bit more cohesive and in the end I would like to paint this door as well because while I'm filming it gets super super dark because of the door so I would like to paint it as well so as you can see a lot of work needs to be done so yeah i guess i'm going to get going on sending it down and maybe do some more wood filling and yeah i'll keep you posted and i'm going to film the whole process so let's go
now and already did three coats on the shelves everything looks like a mess so i already did the first coat here and on top and already um did the finishing on the fillings and they look so so nice i never did something like this so i'm super proud of it i even did like this little cut over here so they look super super nice I already um, did the sanding of everything and already passed acetone in here even though like this still has a little bit of varnish but i think it's okay to paint so yeah let's paint the rest Okay, this is how it's looking and the studio already looks so so much like lighter <laughs> um, so the back and the top already has two layers I think I'm going to give uh, have to give three layers to the whole thing so it'll look good and already painted down below as well and yeah let's keep going and let's paint the final layers I started to paint on that corner and even though it's already dried, it's not dried enough for another coat. I think, because I'm too afraid to paint that door, I'm going to grab this one and I also bought like a white varnish and I think I'm going to try to spray it out because it's in really bad condition. This was from my dad, so it has around... 30 years or more I have no idea so it's pretty rusty and all that kind of thing so I think I'm going to try to spray it out to see if it gets better Meanwhile, I already gave another coat in here and now I was taking the, the shelves out and now you can really see like the state of the wall and I really want to paint it white maybe in a few weeks but I think for that I'll have to hire someone because the, um, the house is full of nooks and crannies so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it and the wall it's like texture it's not drywall or something like that so yeah i think i'm going to try to clean it as best as i can and then i'll paint the shelves as well <laughs> the lamp is far from perfect but i think it looks quite nice and cute and it's more like in tune with the whole room and now i've taken these shelves out so i'm going to try to paint them I don't know if I already showed you, but I'm painting the shelves on these colors and they look so, so pretty. I hope they work, um, but yeah, let's do it. These colors are so, so pretty. Look at them. <laughs> okay, let's try and see if it works. <laughs> Thank you. 
only the first coat is on but it's already looking so cute so this will be like a green and the wall is already paint all over but it's okay because I'll have to paint the walls anyway um, and I'm painting this one yellow this one is the one up top so I'm painting it over here but on the wall it's just easier because they are not straight um, so I can paint them all one layer at once and that one will be a baby blue and I think it makes also uh, like almost like an illusion because now the wall now it's light as well but yeah anyway <laughs> the wall looks all white it almost look almost looks like the same color as the the wardrobe thing so yay let's continue our paint session It's day two of painting day. Yesterday I left those uh, shelves like this with the first coat. So today we are going to do the second coat and let's hope that everything gets a little bit more done today because Monday I want to come in the studio a little bit more organized than it is right now. On that side it's a mess as well because I've been trying to change the things here in the studio. I really love how the things were but the press being here on this corner doesn't really work because it releases really strong smells so I would like it to be a little more close to the window so I can ventilate it a little bit better. Once everything is more organized I'll show you because right now it looks like a mess. You can't really see where everything is. So yeah, let's give the second coat on the shelves and let's get to work. the current state of things everything still looks like a mess but way better than it was before these, uh, these shelves are finished this yellow it's really really hard I think on Monday I'm still going to give another coat because you can't really see very well on camera but it's still showing the wood underneath but this green and the blue, even though it's super badly painted, they are very opaque and nice, so two coats were enough. Then I have these shelves over here. I'm still um, sure if I'm going to paint them all white or if I'm going to give like a strip or of color. I think it looks nice. I'm going to let it dry and put things on there, in there and see if I like it or not. I think it's the best. Um, I quite like it. If I'm going to paint it white, it's a lot more coats as well and I'm running out of uh, paint, but I quite like it with the color, even though if I paint on top it won't show. But yeah, let me know what you think. I think all white, I don't know, I wasn't really liking it. And I really like those ones right there on the corner. Yeah, what do you guys think? It still looks like a mess, but on Monday I'm going to wrap everything up, I, th I guess, and just try to make it um, as finished as possible so I can work during the week, basically. 
I'm going to um, go around and try to see how I'm going to decorate it a little bit and I'll see you guys next Monday where we are going to finish downstairs and see if we have time to start upstairs because upstairs it's a real mess and I want upstairs to be like a storage for boxes and envelopes and all that kind of things I already bought two uh, shelving units like the little ones to put upstairs but yeah we'll see if we have time or not because I have other work to do like Patreon and getting ready for a shop update so yeah I'll see you guys Monday that will be a few seconds for you <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's now Monday, so welcome to another week. This is normally the day that I start to film this studio vlog, <laughs> so I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure where I left off, left off on Saturday, but I get everything sort of sorted, <laughs> uh, kind of already put everything together, it's decorated and everything, but I still want to paint the door on this vlog so I can do like a final reveal of the room, how it is right now. And I have some thrifted uh, frames that I got that apparently are the colors that I used on the studio right now. So I would like to put them on the wall as well um and do like a final reveal. So yeah, I'm going to paint the door now. I was going to paint it white, I think I talked about this um, and I asked my patrons and they, <laughs> one of them told me that my ne niece and nephew are around here in the room so maybe white it's not the best option so I'm going to paint it the green that is here or the blue, I'm still not sure I think I'm going to go with blue <laughs> So yeah, let's do that. I'm still not sure if I'm going to take the door out to paint it or not But yeah, we'll figure that out. So yeah, let's paint one last thing in here in the room update i already gave two coats to the door but as you can see it's still in it for a third so i'm going to i have to wait for another four hours <laughs> so i'm going to start on the frames and hopefully i can hang them on the wall i never did that but let's try it out <laughs> These are the frames that I was mentioning as as you can see the colors are right up at my alley But I still want some colors to be exactly the same that uh, the ones that I want that I'm using for the shelves and stuff like that So I think I'm going to paint just some of them like these red ones as yellow and stuff like that So that everything gets well put together like in the space and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do that
the studio, it's ready, it's now the next day and I'm pretty sure this vlog will be all over the place because I only remember to film my face from time to time because I was so caught up on painting and mounting everything together so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, before the big reveal, I want to talk about today's sponsor of this video. First sponsor ever here on this channel and I'm so so happy to see this channel girls. So let's talk about Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. So Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives. Whether you are only starting to explore your creativity or you're trying to find new passions or skills, there's some amazing classes and opportunities for basically everyone. The topics include illustration, photography, freelancing tips, but also subjects like time management, social media marketing, and a lot, lot more, because on Skillshare you can find thousands and thousands of classes. I wanted to mention you guys this class of odd bodies. Um, this is such a nice subject. Explore new shapes, new character designs, and and basically try to create a new character every time that you draw and this class represents this so so well exploring shapes exploring dimensions exploring the way you can fit characters into shapes and basically you can create so many different things you just have to try new things out everyone can be a creative we just need to explore what we love so discover what amazing things you can create with classes for every skill level I'm going to leave a link in the description the first 1000 people that click the link will get one month free trial on Skillshare so yeah if you want to get one month free trial on Skillshare click the link that I'll leave in the description and now let's get to the final reveal of the studio and I'm so so excited it was so much work but still it seems like it took forever but at the same time it only take, took me around three days to finish everything and paint and mount everything so I'm really proud of myself and let me show you how the studio is looking I'm so excited okay I'm going to show you little part by part because the studio is big and I can show you everything at the same time so let me show you the like the main working area uh, of the computer that's where I spend the most time so let me show you how it looks with the frames and all the kind of things so here it is this is how it looks I've put the frames yesterday and I think it looks so so cute um, I did like a nail shape um, for the tables I also moved the um, the silhouette of place because in here it didn't have a lot of space and I had to keep moving it um, before cutting and all that kind of things so now I've put this little uh, shelving thing over here and I have my oven to make shrink plastic down and then I have my silhouette and I have some boxes where I have like shipping materials and all the kind of things and then the computer and the normal table that I already had I now have the press over here so it's closer to the window and the fumes and all kind of things when I'm doing sublimation uh, doesn't get so... I don't know, so strong here on the room. I have my guillotine over here and then it's just the normal things. Then this shelf is more of the same thing. Now I have more storage in it and it looks a lot better. I also have put, since I took the silhouette out, I was able to put some more things that was on the shelving before. So now I have a little bit more space and I also already put the washi tapes on the new containers and I have more space also for notepads and all the stationary things. So I'm pretty happy with it. And now it's time for the big reveal that is the part behind me, so let me show you. I'm so so happy with it, it just brings the room all together and now I'm finally getting comfortable in the room to film like everywhere because it just, it's not dark <laughs> anymore. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you. Here it is, I am so so happy with it and I think the blue door just 
put it all together. I love it so, so much. And I also found this uh, pink chair um, downstairs. My mom just kept it from an aunt of mine that didn't want it anymore. And I'm so, so happy with it. It just puts everything together. I've painted these shelves, as you probably remember. I've painted like this. This yellow one was super, super hard. I had to give like five or six layers and it's still not perfect, but I just gave up. Um, then I have some more storage containers over here. I have my lamination things over here. And then we have this spot that I'm going to use like for filming and all the kind of things. And it just makes the room a lot lighter and so much happier. Uh, yesterday you saw me painting the blue door. I gave it a another extra layer so it will be a lot better. In the future I would like to change this little thing over here and also this thing over here so it will be even better. As you probably remember, I also painted this little lamp over here white and I think it just makes all the difference. Uh, it was super, super old and rusty and it's not the best painting job ever. As you can see, I still need to go with another layer, but it already looks so, so much better. But I absolutely love this little new spot. I think it's just so comfy and nice and I can't wait to take advantage of it more now. this was the last part it doesn't look a lot different than it was it just looks a little bit more put together I also added some frames then I have my banner thing over there then I'll when I get upstairs uh, sorted I'll put this ones upstairs as well and this will go more in the center so it'll look more simple I'm trying not to have too many things here in the studio um, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible so it doesn't get too cluttered so I also cleaned it up in here I had a lot of art materials that I didn't use so now I'm putting my uh, envelopes and all that kind of things in here and like shipping and my camera and all that kind of things I have more upstairs that I need to sort out but at least I have this at hand at some boxes already folded and all that kind of things and it's a lot better now that I can use more space in here and this is the final result for the whole room it looks so nice i'm so happy that i have this space and it looks so so nice look at that blue door it looks so pretty and fancy i can't even believe this is my workspace now it just uh, i'm so happy with it <laughs> That is it for today's video. I'm so so happy with the final result and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and also seeing the transformation take place and now the final result. Um, it's a little bit different than what I usually post but it's so nice to look back at these videos and see not only the transformation in my work and seeing myself grow in my business but also the changes in the studio. If you look back from the beginning and the first videos that I've posted and I've now post almost 80 studio vlogs which is crazy to me um, the studio looks so much different and it's nice that I'm finding my uh, style and my branding and all that kind of things and now sorting the place to get everything together with that so it looks so so nice so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so so happy with the studio and i can't wait to now start working in it yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much again for skillshare for sponsoring this video so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you very very soon bye bye